tell me why this particular car for you and uh, maybe some of the things that you've done to it. Oh, this is my dream car. I've owned it for the last three years. It's a 2010 SRT8 Challenger. Um, it's taken about three years to build. I've done everything from taking the whole front end off, putting the headlights in, the halos, uh, paint, painting the engine, candy apple red. We've got a nitrous purge system in the car. Um, we also have it's all lit up inside and we've done the wings, the front and the back. And I've kind of based it on a 1970 Challenger um, uh, track pack car. And it's a similar because the 2010 is based off of the 1970 Challenger. That's why it has the open grill. It doesn't have the slot in the middle like the, the newer Challengers have. So I, I kind of went with that and it's, it's my taste on it, how I think it should look. And, and that's why I love coming to these shows and my good friend Chris right next to me, he's another Mopar guy. And uh, yeah, we just, this is what I done after I served in the armed forces for 10 years, I got out and this is what I put my retirement money into. <laughs> and uh, Chris had given you the, the picture there yeah. earlier. What did, what did you think when you first saw it? Oh, it was amazing. Just the, the whole fact that it looks like it's Armageddon all around it and all the Mopars surrounding it. Just, it's a perfect picture. I met Chris uh, about two years ago when he first was, well, he was taking pictures of cars and that's where I first met him. And he'd taken a couple pictures of my cars and that one we wanted to get printed the best because that would look the, the sharpest we thought, you know what I mean, so far. But uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, what what makes this car so unique for you? Well, the fact that it's a Challenger and it's a two-door, it's big block Hemi, 392. Uh, and it's, it's, to me, this is just, the implement of cars, like the fact that it's black, two-door coupe, eh? and it's, it's a throwback to the muscle car era, but with the modern touches on it, you know what I mean? And are, are you really happy that Dodge made that step and, and said, you know what, like this was such a classic car, let's mm -hmm. do it again, but let's give it a nice, safe, fast feel. Yep, absolutely. I think the fact that they, they kept with the body lines that still emanate from the 1970, from the, from the tail light to the, or the headlight to the tail light, right? So, and I, I love the body style, and it's the one thing that, out of all the muscle cars nowadays that are being produced, Dodge is the only one that still carries the same style, body style, as they did back in 1970. Every other car, muscle car now is not, does not look like the 70s uh, cars at all. No. Right, and this is no. the only one that's still... The newer Mustangs, right. they, they, they've tried to do that same kind of spin. Mm -hmm. They tried, but they, they, they weren't able to keep it, they weren't able to keep the body lines of, of their car. It looks similar, but not the same. It's got the, maybe the same grill, but no, I, I've always liked Dodge. I've always, Dodge has always been the bad boys of, <laughs> uh, of the muscle cars, right? It's always, always the name like Mopar. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. And uh, you know, and, and they, they, it's just what they've done, right? So uh, I, I really like Mopar. I've always liked it. It's, I've gone from, they've always been the underdog when you go to the racetrack. There's only very few Mopars. There's thousands of Camaros, there's thousands of Mustangs. There's very few Mopars, right? So. Yeah. I really enjoy it and it's been a fun car to own. It's a little impractical, it's a black car, it's hard to work <laughs> on, you know what I mean? But that's the whole fun part about it, right? There's not, it's not supposed to be easy, no. right? And that's why it's, a, it's, I always call it a work in progress. There's still more being done every year. We have plans for it this year. The big thing this year is all new tires all the way around it. We want to get a set of the, the Mickey Thompson racing slicks for the back because I just want it to be able to hook up a little bit better. All because right. I, right now, I just, anytime I step on it, it's. I call it ROD, rubber on demand. <laughs> as soon as you step on the gas, the rear end goes like that, right? right. So, but uh, yeah, it's been a great car to own. It's, it's fun. It has, it, this car, believe it or not, has 100,000 kilometers on it already. Wow. I drive it, but it looks this good because I take care of it. I wash it, I wax it and This detail. is your baby. This is my baby, exactly, right? Yep. It sits in a tent. It, it never sees rain until they have cars <laughs> and coffee, right? Every time they have cars and coffee, it freaking rains for yeah. Pete's sake. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so and it's, just, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It, it really has. Last year was uh, the biggest year for me winning. I won Best in Show down in Sydney, nice. uh, our show, our car show down in and thing. And it, for 2000 and above, I won my class and I, I, it was a big achievement for me to be judged by my peers and be brought out to be shown good and they liked it. and. It was really cool. My wife says, what are you going to do with that big ass trophy now? And I said, well, it's going right in the living room, hon. So it sits right in our <laughs> living room out of front in our china cabinet, right? So absolutely, right? So. Yeah.
but oh. uh, yeah, it's just been a work in progress and I enjoy it very much. And uh, I really like the car community in Victoria, even on the whole island is really good. It's big, it's a lot bigger than people actually think it is. Uh, cause it, and this you, is kind of a, a... You get a sunny day around here, man. It's it, just a head turner. <laughs> that's it? right. Your head's... A, you better be on springs because <laughs> you're going to have a sore neck by the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of cars. And we still go cruising every Saturday night in the summertime down to Ogden Point, down to the cruise ships. Yeah. And uh, it's a fun thing to do in the summertime. Gets you away from the TV and get you out and having some fun. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing your Not with problem. us. Not a problem. Thank you. Thanks. Have yourself a great day. Yeah.